Big Mitch. Hey. We're filming today, is that right? Hey, Good, how you doing? So we're here uh, down in uh, Orange County, Newport Beach with uh, my massage uh, neuromuscular therapist, Steve Murphy, who's been working on me on and off since actually helped me for my first first professional win, 2000 Night of Champions. I actually credit him a lot to, uh, to change my physique and put me over the top. And um, I worked with him 2000 on uh, every year. Um, even while I'm in Vegas, I still drive out here, fly out here to, to get tissue work from him. So every time I'm out here doing appearances, you know, I had a photo shoot in LA yesterday and I have um, like the guest pose and do uh, the store gig this weekend. So I'm gonna catch up and get some work done while we're down here and kind of break up some tissue and see how we feel, you know. He, he's always, uh, he knows my body probably better than anyone. So it's, it's good to actually see him and, and uh, get as much as I can in with him when I'm down this way, so. As the show gets close, I might actually come here like I did. At 2005, I actually drove out every week and saw Steve, but seeing what my schedule's like, I might try to do that again this year. And yeah, yeah. See what it prevents, yeah. you know. Hey, Jay, congratulations, Thanks, man. man, thank you. How you on, doing? Uh, you know, on your, on your win earlier. Thanks. That was awesome. Hopefully we'll do it again this year. I, I, I bet you will. That's, that's incredible. What are you weighing? Four hundred five no. pounds, or just? Uh, I'm not big right that. I'm small. Come on. I'm, I'm small. Not. Come on, dude. What are you, <laughs> what are you weighing? <laughs> I haven't been training that much. You're right. I I've been overseas. You don't have to train. You see, Steve, you got to keep coming, dude. <laughs> like I said, I've been here since 2000. Since my first win. How's that? Steve will be able to tell that when he's doing massage Two. therapy at 65. Two, exactly. Is that the first time you were in? When were the first time? 99, you were in? I started coming. Uh, no, 2000, I started coming for the night, night of Champions. My body changed a lot, you know. What was the first year you did the Olympia? Was it 99? 99, remember okay. I, I saw you in the Olympia. I came, yeah, I came. But uh, I hadn't worked on you. And then I came after that and I won. The first thing I said when I saw you up there, I said, that guy. Was it's gonna be Mr. Olympia? Yeah. I said, but I don't want to work on him because he's like 400 pounds of beef. I can't yeah, freaking yeah, work yeah. that guy. <laughs> he looks tight. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty tight though. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. Oh. 16 weeks out. I'll probably start um, July 1st, so that would give me uh, five, ten, uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Cause I'll get some size before I start coming down. Mm -hmm. I try to go up to two ninety five and then fall where I fall. I'll see Melvin tomorrow. You see, he was in uh, yesterday. Oh, he was. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Does he? From having a, uh, you know, gone through that surgery. <sighs> Maybe six weeks ago. And you're looking fat, right? Yeah. <laughs> Came in yesterday and um, different person. Looks really good. Looks really good. The shoulders working better. Yeah. Working on a buddy of his, uh, Lionel Brown. Yeah. You know him? Yeah, he's a pro now, right? <laughs> yeah, he's turned pro. You get ready for a show? Something, right? Mm -hmm. Two weeks or something? Less than two weeks. He's our pro. That's it, yeah. Still tight though, right? Mm hmm. A little fibrous. I mean, it's been a lot worse, bro. You know, I screamed the pain on that one. Oh, yeah. Years ago. <laughs> Couldn't even do that. Be shooting down your shoulder, you know? Pattern, remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Pressure bar to get in there, he says. Pressure bar. Sure. You need the pressure bar. When you get a big old ass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, what is that shit right there? Yeah, that's bound up tissue. Like, ooh, adhesions right there. Feel that? That ridge? Yeah. Yeah. You see that, Mitz? Yeah, I see it. It's pretty rough right there. Oh, shit.
that burns. It hurts? Of course it hurts. Yeah, yeah it <laughs> looks like it. Does it hurt? <laughs> Does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. I mean, he's been pretty proactive with his body for years, as far, preventative wise. Right, Jay? I mean, you've been yeah. starting. I See, think when you first started, you weren't doing much stretching at all. But you no, started, I wasn't. You taught me a lot. Started to, you know, integrate upper body. I think you did lower body stretches back then, but you know, doing a lot of upper body lat stretches, rotator cuff stretches. See, what's that, Steve? That it's isn't my, uh, huh? It's a trigger point, like reacting, like just causing nerve entrapment right there. Is that my sciatic nerve or no? No, it's a response from your sciatic nerve. It's right by the piriformis. So. It's, a, it's a soft tissue trigger point that's stimulating that, that sciatic nerve response. Make sure you get that, Mitz. That jumping. You see that? That's just an involuntary reaction to the pressure. He's not doing that. Yeah. I'm going to go on with a little smaller pressure bar. Okay. It's a little tighter. See if I can get a different response to this. It's definitely gotten worse the last few weeks. Has it? Yeah, I mean, I haven't been training that much either, which is surprising, you know. Well, you took you just took some time out of training. Well, I just missed because I was traveling, you know. Just did cardio and stuff. Or? I didn't do any. I don't do any cardio. What you're off right now? I don't do any cardio ever. <laughs> you gave that up, man. Yeah, I don't do any. It's overrated, right? Yeah. <laughs> I move around a lot. You walking is cardio. I know. Okay? I know. You're just moving three hundred pounds. So he's already increased the room temperature by 20 degrees. Always. I'm sweating, of course. It's like an oven. Serious, man. It's like, you know, killing me. <laughs> it's, it becomes more and more important if you want to keep your tissue from contracting and causing spasms or getting a tear, potentially. That's a big scare that I think the, uh, the bodybuilders can experience is, is getting a tear, like a pec tear or something. So the harder you train, the more stress you put on those tendons, the more they can become dehydrated, the more they can become like ischemic or low in blood supply because they're tighter. And then when they get tight like that, they get brittle and they can tear. So by you know getting some deep tissue work and getting blood flow in there, it's basically a forced stretch into little attachments that you really can't get well through stretching it's uh prevents potential tears or strains or pulls so it's, it, it can be very important especially if you're a, a really tight kind of athlete which all bodybuilders are they have so much mass in them i think more and more athletes are starting to see the benefits just if you have a, a, a tissue that's nice and soft and pliable and contracts when you tell it to you have more function so it's about function you get a tissue that's really contracted and has trigger points and you try to, if you're a runner, run through that or if you're lifting weights, lift through that contraction, it'll pull or potentially tear or cause some nerve entrapment and injury from there on. So It's all about trying to preserve the body to get as much uh, length out of your career as possible and best performance. <coughs> And like Steve said, you know, I've been coming here uh, for the greater part of, oh, well, my, basically my whole professional career where it counts. And I came religiously. I mean, I came from when I started in 2000 with Steve. I think I started in uh, March of 2000. I mean, he'll tell you I came every single week, even in the off season, until the time I moved away, and then I still... Um, that was 2002, and then I still made an effort to come back for at least some sessions for every single contest I've competed in. Yeah. Probably 2005, I came back weekly for the last right. eight weeks. Uh -uh. I flew out here. I mean, it would take a whole day, but I'd fly fly out. He'd work on me for an hour, and I'd fly back to Vegas. 
and uh, you know, last year, you know, I still still saw him at the end. I always seem to come in definitely for the end of every show to have my body fat done and and have Steve tell me how I look compared to years past and and uh, you know, every year I've been bigger and and harder the last couple of years and and I, he's brought it, you know. I basically won this year, you know, and so I, like I said, I'm going to try to come more in 2007 than I have in the years past, so he could work on me. Steve has a special touch that, not that a lot of the other therapists are no good that work on me, but no one knows my body more than Steve, and Steve's, you know, an ex-bodybuilder, so he knows how the body functions, not only by um, you know, his education, anatomy, physiology, or whatever, he knows what I'm talking about when I say I feel this when I'm training because he's been through the same thing. So it's very, very important to have someone know, you know, what you're feeling through personal experience rather than by books and, and what they learned, you know, on their way up through education, through what they do. This is the worst part right here, Mitz. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody can't, you know. Okay. Jay lets me sink in as, as far as I can go on this, and the majority of people usually can't tolerate. The IT band is the worst. That kind of pressure. We worked it slowly over the years, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it used to be really bad. Yeah. <laughs> it was still painful. Oh, uh, yeah. Right around that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I always feel better afterward. Yeah. It's like an ebb and flow. It depends on how contracted and tight or, you know, have they, if somebody comes in and has never had any um, soft tissue work on their IT bands, like a bodybuilder, mm -hmm. oh, they're going to be in a ton of pain. It's going to have a lot of contractions, a lot of little areas that uh, are adhered. To the underlying lateralis tissue, you know, vastus lateralis, so it's gonna hurt. You know, that's gonna make people cry. I'll go chest. You know? Yeah, obviously, when I come to Steve in a steady schedule, it gets deeper and deeper, and he can take more. But when I pop back only, at a, you know, every month or a few months or whatever, he can't beat me up too bad, or I won't come back. <laughs> but you can handle I always it. come back. Yeah, you can handle it. It just hurts more. Like I'm still trying to figure out why the hell I pay for this. <laughs> why do I hear that like all day long? I hear that all day long. It's like you guys must get together and say, Steve, <laughs> you hurt me and I pay you for it. Um, I know. Yeah, you should. You should keep your pecs clear. You know how important yeah. it is for the potential. Right now, it's like, like I said, I haven't been training in full capacity, so it's... I'm right. careful with the weights I use, but you still doing the uh, flat bench? Yeah, I still do it, but I only go to three fifteen. End of the workout, kind of. No, I do it in the beginning actually. Are you? Yeah, but I warm up steady, and my rep range is very, very short. It's just you know, mm -hmm. just pump, and I tuck my chin really tight. So Good. yeah, so you don't wash the range. Yeah, the I just kind of yeah, you know, and I close grip. I don't go wide, so it's not. You don't need to risk it. It's not no, it's, it's not, just it's not really worth because it. I get so much out of it when I don't do it. My chest is never as sore, but when I do it, it's unbelievable how sore it gets. So, you know, you put like a half inch on your. I know mid that's what I mean. Line, you know, through this whole. I mean, yeah. This used to be so hollow. Yeah. Compared to how it is now. Yeah. yeah. That's why I think you know the flat benching's helped. Well, you always have done it where you're trying to contract the muscle, not just trying to move the weight. That's yeah. the difference. That's, I, mean, that's I mean, some days I do 275, you know. Yeah. I won't go to four plates again, though. I don't think it's too dangerous now. So Steve's booked out all day. I called him and I said, uh, I'm coming to town. I want to come th Thursday morning at 6 a.m. But he said, no, I don't have it. So some other retard is taking 6 o'clock instead of me. <laughs> so you can believe that. <laughs> so he said, how about Friday at 9? I said, how about Friday at, for two hours? 
<laughs> and he said, no. So either no, he's, too, either he's too booked, now. either he's too booked, or he said, I'm not working on this guy for two hours. <laughs> Kicking my ass for two hours. <laughs> if it was four o'clock in the afternoon and he was going home, it might be a different story, but he's still got the day left. <laughs> he's not going to work on me for two hours. <laughs> you believe people coming in for this shift at 6 a.m.? I used to come in at 6 a.m. That was when I used to make my appointments with him. It was 6 a.m. every week. <laughs> and you'd be here before 6. Yeah. <laughs> you'd beat me here at times in the parking lot waiting. <laughs> See, that's, that's the dedication. That's the difference, you know. I knew if I, I couldn't live all day knowing that I was going to get this torture so I'd get it done at 6 it would be over <laughs> early and I'd have the whole day to recover I could never train on the days that I used to have the therapy because it was like a workout it was going through a full body workout I used to get so sore my pecs will be really sore from this though I mean, it's Steve will tell you, people that come in here and they're right at the point of a tear. They're so tight and bound up. You know, bodybuilder likes to feel tight and full because it makes them feel bigger, but in reality, the, the muscle's not functioning correctly, and it's not a healthy muscle, and they think they can just throw up weights and let the tendons do the work. You know, if the muscle's not contracting and it's just the tendons working, we've got problems you get end up with a tear. And the tear's irreversible and your career's over. Yeah. So my biggest fear as Mr. Olympia is of course tearing a muscle or getting an injury that's threatening to my career. So I don't care how much it costs or how much time it takes. I mean this is all part of my training and preparation to win another title. I don't. I can totally credit his, my success to a lot of his therapy. I mean, he was. He worked me every single week. In the beginning, and he was there for all the major victories, and and uh, I never knew about neuromuscular therapy. He introduced it to me. I used to go for massage, but. You know, it's just not enough for someone my size. I mean, I have too much muscle mass to get um, just basic massage therapy. You know, you have to get in there with tools and pressure bars. And, you know, you have to walk out of here with pain. Pain's a good thing within this type of therapy. No pain, no gain. You know how it is. Gotta put yourself yeah, out of your and your arms are like this, you yeah. know. There's so much tightness and entrapment. And you see guys up there like that. It's pulling so far forward. You have so much attachment um, restriction, and that's the weakest part of the pec. The pec has all this huge attachment. And it's pulling from this little tiny attachment at the humerus. And, you know, like, this gets really tight and contracted. Like I said before, if it gets very brittle, you put a load under it like a bench and. You get little micro tears, you probably, people feel it all the time, a little sensitivity, that's micro tears, but then once it goes and pulls off the attachment, it's over. You know, you're, I mean, you're, plenty of guys have ruined their careers from a, a pec tear. But that can happen anywhere in the body. You know, that can happen in a, a leg, in a arm, in a bicep, a tricep. So it's, uh, I think it's just part, you know, good preventative stuff that Jay recognized early on in his career, so you, it helped him uh, extend uh, the comfort level, you know, enabled him to train at a good enough pace with minimal uh, fear of tearing things. And it got you a lot of body awareness. He knows more about his body and tightness and tissues than he probably ever would have. And it's increasing your awareness when you worked on. You know what, when something's tight and when it isn't. So a lot of guys don't. They have no idea. They're lifting heavy weights. They're all bulked up. They don't know when a tissue is pliable or functioning correctly and when it's tight. Yeah, Nagel and Business is Perfect Fitness. I'm in Newport Beach and um, anyone, anyone wants to call or come on in and get some therapy or an assessment, uh, yeah, awful personal training, neuromuscular therapy and uh, all types of different types of uh, nutritional programs and wellness programs. So I feel good so I'm ready to go for another week now.
going to try to get out here again shortly so I can get tuned up.